How important is it to you to master your sales presentation? I hope you answered plenty important. So now the question is, how do you do that? Let's get into it in today's five minute sales training, the key to sales mastery. Welcome everyone to another episode of the five minute sales training. If you are new here, please subscribe and I don't care how new you are, please hit the like button every time. Consider that your payment for this free video. Just move your cursor over and click once. That's all we ask. Okay, so you wanna master your presentation, right? You do, don't you? What does that take? I mean, how do you master anything? piano or tennis or nuclear fusion? Well, it all begins with an important step that sounds obvious, but in reality can be quite challenging. To begin, you gotta wanna. I really want it. It takes desire. It all begins with the desire to master your craft. Look, I don't care what field you're talking about, athletics, sciences, music, or sales, it all begins with the desire to be the best you can be. Every top performer in every field has shared that characteristic. They were motivated by their passion, by their desire, by their need to be the very best. Now that desire carries with it the willingness to work hard, to deal with frustration and defeat and even failure. But the desire carries you through. This is one of the reasons that achievement drive is so critical for top performing sales professionals. Top performers have to win. I'm Chad Radwell, and I always win, no matter what. And to win, they have to be their very best. Do you? This is a pretty important question. Do you have the desire to master your craft? Don't tell me, show me. Now, the second thing you need is solid technique. You cannot have a perfect presentation with imperfect technique. You need to make sure you are doing the right things right. So here's a question. How much do you challenge your own technique? Is your way really the best way? How much of your presentation is based on tradition? Well, we've, we've always done it that way. In my 35 years of training and coaching, I have met too few salespeople who really challenge what they have learned and how they perform. But the best are constantly putting their techniques on trial. And by the way, if you're looking for great techniques and you're not on Sales 365 yet, get over there. Now, the third piece of the mastery puzzle, you might like this one or maybe not, is repetition. Sorry folks, but it is an absolute must. There is no mastery without repetition. Again, again. Why? Because the hallmark of mastery is unconscious perfection. And that is only attainable through repetition. You need to be able to do it perfectly without thinking about it. You need to have that muscle memory in place to perform without it being a conscious act. That's right, it means you can demonstrate your skill without having to think about the skill. Wait, Jeff, you're telling me not to think about my sales presentation? Well, yeah, I am. You know what I want you thinking about? I want you thinking about the person standing in front of you. I want you focused on the customer. That's the great benefit of mastering your sales presentation. You don't have to think about all of the fine points because you've practiced those so much. And when you have that down, you can focus on what really matters, what the customer wants to tell you. Now, one last thing to keep in mind here. Mastery is really, really fun. It's a rush. There's nothing quite like the perfectly delivered question or how you ask for the sale without it being weird or contrived or uncomfortable. It's time, my friends, to lean into mastery. Thanks for watching another five minute sales training and until next time, 
Learn more to earn more.